guys. So I have a loser confession. I'm 27 years old and I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess, if you live in a place where public transportation is easy, like like yeah. subways. And like in this country, it's expected of you to get your license at 15 yeah. and a half. But in this area, especially in this area, you need to have a driver's license. And I don't have one. So I just took, we just came from the DMV and I took a written exam first and I passed! So now I have a permit. I totally feel like a teenager right now. <laughs> um, I did get a permit when I was 16, but um, I didn't have a car to drive. And then ever since then, we've had kind of unreliable cars that need special driving skills <laughs> because they were broken. But this is the first ride that we get to use that's actually safe and nice. So I get to drive now, finally, yay! We're in Fresh and Easy, finally, for the first time. I like it. I like it, I like it. Wee! I found some chicken gnocchi. I mean, chicken gnocchi soup. I found some gnocchi so I can make chicken gnocchi soup because I watch Daily Bumps and I always go to Olive Garden and eat chicken gnocchi soup and I want to try it because it looks delicious. But I don't want to go and buy it. I want to go and make it because homemade. Yeah, yeah. Wow! All right, I can't wait to try this. It's um, organic blue corn tortilla chips, and it's stone ground and sprinkled with sea salt. And this awesome Southwestern um, salsa. I usually like making my own salsa, but this looks so delicious. It has corn and cilantro and tomato, and I think those are beans. And I love beans. I love beans. She doesn't like beans. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god, look at that. That looks so good. Roasted corn. Um, on, a score of, on a scale of 1 to 3, how many jalapenos do you give that? You're now watching Salsa Minute. 2.5. 2.5 jalapenos out of 3. It needs a little bit more cilantro. But it's really good. Point five. I like a lot of cilantro. My <laughs> Look at all her crazy bows. No, you stay that way, bubs. Dirty, dirty that way. Dirty, uh, oh, hallway not allowed. Put booger hands on her. She's like, daddy. <laughs> I'm making some chicken gnocchi soup because from all of the Olive Garden's chicken gnocchi soup. It's a tutorial I'm watching on YouTube and she says Olive Garden's chicken gnocchi soup over and over and over again. But it's cool because it's a really awesome recipe and I wanted to make it because what Missy Olive Garden's chicken gnocchi soup. <laughs> because Missy and Brian ate chicken gnocchi soup, Olive Garden's chicken gnocchi soup every day. Every vlog I've watched, well not every vlog, but Almost very frequently vlog, since she was pregnant. So I don't want to just boil my chicken, get it over with, and I don't have any leftover chicken. So I'm browning them first, so it's more flavorful. And I just got my gnocchi out. For the Olive Garden chicken gnocchi soup that she's making. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the link on the description of the tutorial. Uh, it's really just funny the way she said it over and over again. But actually, I love... The tutorial, it's the best tutorial out there that I've found. So, yeah, I got my veggies and I separated my onion over here on this side because, I don't know, I just started there and I'm like, hey, I have a bigger chopping board over here. So, alrighty then, I'll show you what I'm done with the Olive Garden's Chicken Yoki Soup. The Olive Garden's Chicken Yoki Soup. Whoa, it's zooming by itself. I'm not even pressing it. Finish Chicken Yoki Soup. Finish with the Olive Garden yeah. chicken yoki soup.